Brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset. Advanced Bose technologies let you focus on what matters, flying. And by the Aspen Evolution Flight Display. Aspen, a new way to look at avionics. Glenn Pugh for avweb.com. The BD-5 is back on the airshow circuit as the FLS Microjet, sponsored by U.S. Fleet Tracking of Edmond, Oklahoma. Pilot and builder Justin Lewis has flown F-14s off carriers and says this is the most fun he's had in a jet. I'm sitting in front of the FLS Microjet. Some people call it the world's smallest jet airplane, and I'm at Oshkosh, Wisconsin for AirVenture. This is the first time I've been out here, and I'm here to perform in this air show, so I'm very, very excited since I'm new to the air show circuit. This is the world's smallest jet. It only weighs 416 pounds. It has 265 pounds of thrust, and I can go up to about 320 miles per hour. It's fully aerobatic, and it's a home-built kit. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. And when I grew up, I wanted to be a military pilot. So after going to college, I joined the United States Navy. I flew off aircraft carriers. I flew big, heavy aircraft. Uh, I was a aircraft, uh, I was a flight instructor for about four years. I more recently switched into A-10 Warthog. At the end of my active duty career in the Navy, I had decided that I wanted to stay in the military, but I also wanted to do something in the civilian world. I really enjoyed going to air shows and I enjoyed seeing this jet when I was a kid. It was an inspiration to me. So remembering that, I really sought out how can I bring this jet back to the air show industry. And from there I put together a team. I worked with BD Micro Technologies and we re-engineered together the old BD-5J into the FLS Micro Jet that you see here today. This airplane is a very, very different airplane from the original BD-5J. It takes the same shape and essentially the same aerodynamic design, but we've put a lot of technology and engineering available today that just simply wasn't available to Jim Beatty back in the 1970s. The fastest I've ever had this airplane is right up to about 320 miles per hour, and I pulled six Gs in it, which was the original G loading for this aircraft. In an air show, I'll pull on average about four to four and a half Gs, and it's just an amazing looking airplane. We have Grand Rapids Technologies avionics in this aircraft. It really sets it apart from one of the older BD-5 aircraft. I have glass display, I have an AHARS unit, magnetometers in it, so it's real top of the line avionics. People ask me all the time, how easy is this jet to fly? And I tell them, actually, it's a very, very easy jet to fly. It's hard to believe, but it really is. You, you just apply a little pressure to the stick and it gently goes in that direction. It's a very stable airframe. The hardest thing about this airplane is landing it. And not because landings are difficult, but you're so low to the ground that you're not used to the sight picture. If you try and flare at a height that's about a Cessna height, a normal height, then you're going to land hard and you're going to be too high above the ground. So you really have to get used to a picture that looks a little bit more like you're driving a go-kart. When I was younger and I came here to Oshkosh, I remember seeing the BD-5J flown by Bob Bishop and the Coors Light Silver Bullet flying through here. And it inspired me. Well, now that I'm in this position, I would love to inspire the next generation of pilots. I love kids to come out here or any air show across the country and know that I've inspired them to be part of aviation. Brought to you by Phillips 66 Aviation, the most trusted wings in aviation, and by Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck VFR. See the difference at AirVenture 2013.